Hey people, how's it going? It's Impala 100 and we're playing another episode on our single player world. In the last episode, we built this beautiful windmill and crop field behind us. And as you can see, the wheat is starting to grow up. Additionally, the crops over here are starting to grow up as well. I think we're still gonna add a few more crop pins around here, but we've been going pretty crazy on the farms recently. Like for instance, we've built this beautiful horse stable here, beautiful animal shelter here as well, especially after these renovations. And most recently a windmill in addition to the fishing dock over there. So figured we'd take a break from this here uh, on this farming venture. We are in desperate need of iron because we're still using stone tools. I'd like to make it out of the stone age here, at least for the time being. And that's going to involve us uh, going and exploring our cave here. So I figured we'd explore the cave and maybe try to set up some form of mining operation down there as well. But in order to do that, we're going to need to have lots of lighting down there to mitigate uh, spawn rates. For hostile mobs, that is. So I'm going here and I'm trying to make enough torches for us. We're going to go pretty crazy in the torches. Look at that. Okay. I think that's enough for us to get started. I'm going to throw the torches in the offhand, but I might need to swap it out with the shield at some point. So we're just going to get straight into this here. Um, for those who are new to the series here, haven't checked back on previous episodes, we've probably explored 50% of this upper room and it continues to go down and down and down. At least that's what it looks like. So we're going to continue on our progress here and try not to die. look at all of these creatures. Oh my gosh. There's a zillion, so we're going to take them out one by one. The skeletons are really the only mobs that worry me. And then the sneaky little creepers, too. That's never fun. Oh, wow. Okay, we got a little finger right here. Where does this take us? Okay, just a weird little inlet here. Okay. So lots of torching is going to go on. I'm going to take note of where there's little pockets of resources like this coal. I guess not this coal because there's basically nothing there. But yeah, wherever I find resources, I'm not too worried about just yet. Like, yeah, that copper, for instance. I just want to light the area up first and foremost and then worry about how we're going to... Oh, I picked up an iron sword. What the heck? Okay. Yeah, we'll worry about uh, resources second here and lighting up first, and hopefully we don't die. String. Okay, that goes down deep. <gasps> Baby zombie, no, get out of here. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm also worried about these guys too. You can't reach me. This is our little safe spot. Oh, and he dropped iron. What a great drop, okay. We're just making our way slowly but surely over here. This is a huge cave system again. Okay, this is ridiculous. <laughs> There's a mobs. Oh my gosh, just when I thought I saw the end of it, there's more. Oh my gosh. Oh, and there's slime. Okay, take note. Slime chunk somewhere over here. We will remember that. Oh no, we're getting thrown potions at. Is he still going at me? No, get, stay away from the lava. Oh my gosh. This is so risky what we're doing here. Oh. Whew. Okay, heart rate is up. We're okay. Goodness gracious, people. Okay. And I think that witch is still tracking us. Yeah, look at that. Oh my gosh. Still throwing potions? I'm so far away. That That is not right. <laughs> we got Uncle Rico over here trying to throw that football over the mountains. That's not happening. That's definitely a snapshot. Oh my gosh, another slime chunk over here. Hold up. 
Got a few slime chunks. I don't mind getting a few slime here as long as we could stay away from skeletons. Go around this way a bit. Yeah, I'd love to get some slime. Okay. We're back. Oh, wow. We're back at it here. Okay, so we're going to loot some slime here. This is nice to get. And once we light up this whole thing here, it should just turn into kind of a passive slime farm for whenever we're down here in the mines. All right, I think I lit up most of the entrance cavern, I guess you could say. So we came in up there and we had all that explored, but everything down here we explored. There are a few little caves which go super deep back here and I'll show you. I think it's this right here. Is this the one that goes deep? No, it's not. Hold up. It's one over. That one we already showed you. Over here, if we go back a bit, there is quite the drop off right here. I'm not going to worry about that yet because I have a feeling that's going to go down way deeper than we want to go. But who knows what's around the corner here other than a zillion mobs. Uh, this is where we're going to next. Um, I'm trying to find a place at Y level 15. So maybe we go back there. But I'm trying to find a place. Oh, and we need a strike while there's no mob spawning here. I have a feeling it is nighttime right now because the mob cap is pretty low right now. Oh my goodness. This is incredible right now. Okay. So we're going to continue to light this up. And man, this cave just keeps going. This is awesome. Maybe down here might work. Okay. Negative 34. I'll remember this. But essentially, I'm trying to find a place to where I could branch mine at the optimal Y level. Oh my goodness, get away from me. Come on, there we go. Look at all the string we're getting. This is a great trip just for the string itself. More fishing rods. And we could actually make ourselves a bow. We might need to do that with all the mobs we're encountering down here. But yeah, Y level 15 is the best level to mine for iron, unless you're up in mountains, which we don't have any mountains really uh, nearby to do that and so I figured we might as well get some sort of strip mine going at the iron level here and if this uh, cave goes down even lower like all the way to diamonds all that stuff maybe we could have multiple levels of mines here kind of weaving throughout this cave I'm trying to utilize the minecart block quite a bit and I think this is such a cool cave to be able to do that in so I'm going to continue to conquer it. We're starting to run into some more skellies here um, and potentially a dead end. But more updates to follow unless I die. So hopefully I don't die. Okay, so there's a ton of iron for us to mine up here. And we ran out of torches. And there's also a ton of coal to where we can make more torches. Uh, but to give you guys an idea, we have... This entire big cavern, basically all the big caverns lit up now. So this dead ends down here. I'm sure if we mine into an edge somewhere, uh, we might go further down into a cave. But for now, this is a good stopping point for us, um, you know, lighting up the area. I mean, take a look at all this iron here. Uh, this is half the battle. And so when the iron is available to us like this, I don't see a need necessarily to start an iron farm just yet. I think what I want to do instead is mine up quite a bit of stuff, at least a decent amount of iron. I want to get us a an anvil, and I think getting 32 iron is good enough for that. I also want to get all the coal I could see too. So all the coal in the world and a decent amount of iron, uh, that is us switching gears here. And then maybe we could do some further exploration in a bit, but figured might as well get some resources um, while it's fresh in our head on where everything's located. Okay, so we have been busy here. I think I remember myself saying, yeah, we'll just get a lot of coal and maybe a little bit of iron. Um... I meant to say all of the coal and all of the iron we found. So here's a resource update on where we're at. 
So almost a stack and a half of coal. I made another stack of torches over a stack and a half of raw iron, which we will convert to ingots eventually. What I wanted to do, and again, everything's lit up. Everything has been mined minus copper. Oh, never mind. We missed a few areas here. My bad. Okay. Well, yeah, as we're mining this out, hopefully it's not a huge coal vein. We have plenty of it again. Oh, it's a big one. Gosh dang it. And then there's also iron. Okay, let me mine this real quick. I wanted to explore a few more wings of, of cave with you guys and see if we find anything interesting. Anything fun. Hopefully no mobs. Okay. More iron, more coal. Nothing insane. Okay, more iron and more coal. I'm really trying to jinx myself into a mob spawner and now the fact that i said that we're probably not going to find one but it's all good yep here we go and i explored this wing already oh i missed iron down here too what the heck hold up okay there's so much i missed here okay never mind it dead ends right there perfect okay so we're gonna go through sweep through this cave here before we go down the one cavern that looked like it was going deep to take us to the uh, lower levels. Oh my gosh, we found our way over here. Okay, so this was, this goes way above where we were at. This is a pretty awesome view. Oh my gosh. But yeah, uh, I guess we found a lot more coal up here, which is a good thing because we're using a ton of it. So uh, don't mind at all. Um, but yeah, I was hoping to jump cut to the lower cave, but I guess... We had a cool view up here, so I had to share that. But okay, back to uh, resource gathering again. Okay, we fully explored that wing of the cave. Now it's time to see if we could try our luck at a lower Y level and see if this thing continues on. So up and through here, we can head down this way and we'll get more coal and iron later. Oh no, this is just gonna... Oh no, it's such a disappointment. I think we explored all of this cave here. Okay. Well, I'll go ahead and get this iron and coal here, and we're going to put our thinking caps together on, on what exactly we're going to do. So here's my idea. Oh, we missed iron. Dang it. Where are we at? Okay, almost three stacks of coal. This is wonderful. Before I got distracted there. <laughs> If I would pay you a dollar for every single time you saw me get distracted in this series, you would be a rich person. So I was doing some thinking on what exactly I want to do here. Um, so clearly this cave doesn't go down to our desired Y level of 15, but that'll involve a little bit of digging here. Um, regardless, there's still lots of open space for us to make some sort of structure uh, with an entrance to get us to Y level 15. So right now we're up at 36. It looks like over... Do you guys see that Enderman just doing a dance over... Okay, there... Okay, he stopped. <laughs> but it looks like we're at Y level 29 here. So it's deeper here. However, I had an idea where maybe we could have this mine bend around through here, kind of traverse through this, make it feel like an adventure, almost a different world uh, to where our mind's going to be. And I think, is it a good idea to go all the way to the end here? Or is it a good idea to have it kind of stop right here? I'm thinking we take it down to this level. And I think we might do a little bit of terraforming maybe because i want this nice and tall i want it to be a big room oh oh i know exactly what i want to do now i want to go right in here right next to this stalagmite and we could have an artificial road eventually i'm just thinking in the future here this is half the series we could have it kind of weaving through this all the way up to the surface i love that and kind of take it through the thick of it too not around the edge I want us to be going through this stalagmite craziness here. That's awesome. Okay, this is going to be epic stuff in a few episodes. Trust me, guys. So I want to go ahead, and we're actually just going to set down some workstations, make some storage, 
and a few pickaxes. <laughs> and maybe while we're digging this out, maybe we can make some uh, more furnaces too, fern eye. Yeah. We'll get a few fern eye going. Boom. Yeah, look at that. Awesome stuff. Oh, do that too. And we'll make a few pickaxes, iron specifically, because we have so much of it now. And we're going to mine out this area to Y15. So where is iron pickaxe? Oh, there you are. And I don't know how deep we want to do this here. So for the sake of seeing stuff, we're going to move you out of the way. This dirt's given us something good to work off of. So maybe five blocks wide here. And go five by five, or five by four. Let's see how this looks here. I like the five by five and we'll dig into this a bit more. Oh my gosh, and then maybe we could have like a little permanent smelting setup somewhere in here, right? And then some bins for storage. Oh, this is gonna be great. Again, we're trying to make this look lived in, right? Oh, this is all, and more iron. Look at that, it was meant to be. Look at all this iron here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and dig this out. We're gonna angle it down. I like this as our little entrance here. And five by five was a good call. So we're gonna start going down, probably angling it starting here. I wanna say, or maybe here, I don't know. I'm digging, bye bye, see you soon. <laughs> All right, so I dug out this very long tunnel here. And I was thinking to myself, where typically whenever I'm doing mines, I just go down one block by one block. I decided in the spirit of the series, we're gonna take things a little bit longer or take longer doing things, enjoy the process. And I think it would actually look better with a slighter decline here. So every three blocks we're going down one. By the way, tons of iron while we're mining this out, which we haven't even taken yet. We'll get to that in a second. I just wanted to dig out the shape here. Also, I'm not sure if we have dug up lapis yet. So I wanted to save this here. Yep, our first lapis blocks mined. Look at that. Another perk of being deep down in the mines here. There we go. Okay. But, oh, more lapis. There we go. Bonus lapis. Anyways, um, yeah, we'll fix that up in a bit. We're finally down to Y15. And now we're just going to push this out as far as possible this way. So that's the next portion of this, and I'm not going to go out as far as possible just yet. This has been a lot of digging. Uh, to give you an idea, it's actually been a blessing in disguise to have had to dig to Y equals 15. Because if we go up here to a temporary chest, we have, look at all of the cobblestone we have, which means we can build a ton more stuff. So also, quite a bit of diorite too. And look at all of this iron here. I'm going to make ourselves one more pickaxe. And on top of this, even more iron there. I'm smelting up some coppers while we ran into quite a bit of that too. So I'm going to mine out just one little section here to show you how I want this to look or how we're going to um, organize it all. And we have some oak logs here. I'm trying to make this a traditional looking mine shaft. So maybe we could get that started a bit. Maybe we go up to the surface and get some more oak. Um, but yeah, that'll be in a second. So give me just a few moments here. We're going to dig this out and kind of explain how we're going to grid out our mine shaft here. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to make supports going down here. I think we need to resolve that in order to start the pattern here. So that being said, we're going to make ourselves a crafting table here. We're also going to make a ton of planks. And then on top of that, maybe a few fences here, just so we could kind of get an idea of what this is going to look like. Um, so my first instinct is to put it on this block here when we're going down. Because in here, 
this is going to go up by one. So we could actually try one more time how this is going to look right here. Hmm. Is that going to look good? What's well, better than going up here? That's just going to look plain weird. So I think this is our best bet. Because if we move it back, then it makes no sense. So it needs to be on front. And then on the bottom here, we will have, let me pull this in our offhand here, a pattern sort of like this maybe. And then going up like so, right? And then at the front of, or yeah, in the middle here, something like this maybe. Okay. And I'm not even sure if we need this in the middle here. Maybe we could just make this plain stone diorite, whatever the case may be. Yeah. So we're going to take this out here. That was a mistake, but it's all good. We're learning here. We'll place down cobblestone. And I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll kind of leave it messy here. I think I want this to look lived in more than looking polished up. It's a mine shaft after all, right? So we'll actually keep this in the offhand here. I think when we get down to this level, it's going to get a little tricky now. Because what I want to do, I want every two blocks for there to be a new mine shaft. So if we start digging, it looks best right here. And then two, we're going to do another. I think we're going to space it up by three. I think we're going to do it by three. I don't think it's efficient, but it's going to look better especially with the pattern we're setting. It's an odd number, right? So every three blocks, we're going to have that down there. And then one more layer here, like so. Yeah. This is how we're going to lay it out, though. And it's going to give us a great chance here to get just a ton more iron than we already have. And if we ever need more, we could just go back into here right unless we need a ton of resources then we should probably be caving because that's how we're going to find saddles and all that other good stuff perfect awesome and then as far as torches go what we could do something like this yeah and do we torch up both ends why not <laughs> But going down, I think we torch up this side here. Perfect. Then we could take this out and not have a problem. Awesome. So we're just needing more wood to decorate this here. So what I'm going to do, I want to pop back up to the surface here. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so awesome here. It already, it already is starting to look cool. But I'm going to go back up to the surface here. And we are going to get some more wood and hopefully decorate more of this tunnel up. Okay, so we are low on oak and we took down our tree farm in the last episode. So we are going to panic plant. Yeah, this is a good spot. We're panic planting because we need more. So there we go. There's a patch of oak, but this is what we're left with here. So 54 fences, 60 oak planks, and we're headed back down. Two creepers, fun stuff. But yeah, it's been an underground episode up until now. So it's still beautiful up here. Crops are still growing, surely, but slowly. And we're going back down. <laughs> but we'll probably be back up in just a quick second because we are low on this stuff here. And was this a naturally growing tree? I haven't cut it down till now. Hmm. Well, here's to uh, destroying the environment for mining. Oh my goodness, this is going to be such an epic entrance now that this place is all lit up. And I'm thinking maybe we could get a pathway going through here. And then, yeah, cut right through this way and around. 
not near the lava, but I don't know, close enough to see it, right? I think the lava feature is pretty cool here. So we'll mine that out for now. And I'm thinking it's going to be a giant rail cart path. So that's my plan, at least. We'll see how that ends up working out. And then we take it right down here. Oh, beautiful. Okay, perfect. So we're going to get to uh, place in this here. Let's see if it looks good. Okay, and that's how much wood we had. Uh, so almost halfway done on the fences. Still need a little bit. Yeah, like a stack of fences. And uh, yeah, probably a stack or two of planks. So not close to being done yet here. So got to go back up to the surface and get some more of that awesome stuff. So it is thunderstorming outside, but here we are. The finished product, or not the finished product, but we have the mine shaft all figured out here finally. And how many more fences? Okay, perfect. We do have enough fences. I forgot to place these. There goes that thunder. I forgot to place these down here. Okay, and that was the perfect amount of fences. Look at that. A little bit extra on the planks, but we're all good there. Anyways, we have ourselves a mine shaft, which goes on forever, it feels like here. Uh, this is a little much, I will say, um, but I think it's going to be better whenever we're able to add a mine cart here. Um, and I'm stupid, and I left our iron, or I took it up, sorry, all the way up to the surface. So maybe in the next episode, we're going to have to figure out how to incorporate a mine cart into this here. And then also how we're getting to and from the surface. Uh, one issue is that we don't have powered rails yet. So we might need to utilize an older form of powering minecarts at this stage in the game. Oh, my slime. Look at this. We almost have a stack of slime balls, by the way. Or we have half a stack right now. After this, I'm sure we're going to have plenty more. But this is kind of a, a blessing in disguise to have this here. Oh, my gosh. This is great. I'm not even sure if we'll need a slime farm. Maybe, I don't know, but this is the place to to build one, I guess, right in this uh, chunk right here. We can place a sapling right here to signify, hey, slime chunk. And maybe we'll come back to it later, who knows. Um, but anyways, we have ourselves a finished mine shaft here. It was a very mine heavy episode. Man, I've been here almost two hours, I want to say, just going at this. Uh, lots of potential for this mining area here. I think I might want to spend another episode or two developing this up and kind of linking it up to the surface as well uh, to make it usable. Again, we're just adding to the infrastructure of our area here, and this is another integral part of the game. The game's called Minecraft, and yeah, what are we doing down here? Exactly. Fun stuff. Oh, almost forgot. Oh, and we have iron down here. We can actually make some rails. Make ourselves a mine cart. Make some rails. We were about to end the episode. Who do we think we are as the thunder's going crazy? So, yeah. Rails are going to go all the way up and down here. And we'd have to use... A furnace-powered minecart, which would be powered by coal, obviously. So if we make a minecart furnace, and then we'll make another minecart. Let me test my theory here. I want to make sure this would work before we even do this. We're not going to finish this, obviously. So minecart there. There's me. I go in here. Oh, and then I go... No, go... Wait, I could ride in this one? Hold up. Can I write in this one? No, I can't. Okay. I'm going insane. Put coal in there. How do I get it going in the right direction? Am I supposed to do this? Oh, it's directional. Son of a gun. And this one's just going to keep going. And when I break it, okay, it stays together. Well, that's good to know. That's how that works for science. My friend Imitator would be very happy for science. Okay. We'll place down a few more minecart tracks here and call it. 
Guys, thanks so much for watching another episode on our beautiful single player world. It was an underground episode here. Might do a few more of these. Hope you guys don't mind, but this is a project I'm super excited for. And to be able to link that up to our farm, it's just going to be incredible. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like right down below. It really does help out the channel. If you hated it, leave a dislike. Tell me why. This has been your favorite Impala 100 in the entire world. And I'll see you right where we left off in the next episode. Take care for now.